Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. It is mail call time all the way from Taiwan from Unquiet Hands. Yes, the very kind Tom has sent me this, the latest spinner design from Unquiet Hands and he has been kind enough to send this to me even though the spinner has already been released. And since he was kind enough to send this over to me, it is only fair if I were to do an unboxing video to share with you guys. So let's experience this thing together because we all know Unquiet Hands offers some of the best if not the best unboxing experiences in the spinner game. Let's check it out. And we are first presented with the very exquisite looking Unquiet Hands box. This one is of a smaller size than the one that was sent to me when we received the Attic Spinner. This is a square shaped almost like a shoebox style kind of box with the very beautiful Unquiet Hands logo. And Tom, thank you once again for sending one of these stickers over to me when I bought the bearings from you. Guys, look, this is just... I mean, you cannot deny how premium this thing looks. So this is already the first step of the unboxing experience. Now, we're gonna open it together and here we go. Oh, and what does it say? Hi Ben, thank you one more time for making this review. Enjoy. Dude, thank you, not me. <laughs> thank you for doing this. So in this box, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh my goodness, Her herbal chews. Good, 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 good is what the rooster is saying. It says, uh, it's President Candy, Loquat and Mint. What is Loquat? It expires next year, December. What? It says Woohoo Woohoo. It's an herbal chew. I don't know what this is. I will have to try it off camera because I've already brushed my teeth. Yes, it is past midnight. It is like 1 a.m. and I'm just doing this unboxing because I thought it was a great time to do so. So thank you, Tom, for this. I will have to share with you guys what this is all about. So yeah. Put this aside so here comes the next step of the unboxing experience you get this padding inside the box itself so everything is well protected you got a very thin uh, packing layer and then we have bubble wrap here so I'm gonna lift up this unquiet hand sticker man it's such a beautiful sticker though like what a waste but anyway it's all part of the experience so Tom is just simply not holding anything back then we lift this up and we'll be greeted with ah a COA. There we go. This is a Sage, everyone. Yep, you'll see the model name before you actually see the spinner. But yes, it is a Sage stainless steel fine stone wash version. Mine is number 41. And it is manufactured on the 30th of April, which is just like a few days ago. And signed off by Tom. Pretty awesome. And then we have another packet here. And in this packet, I'm going to open this up to show it to you guys, even though I know what it's like. So we got this hologram style sticker. This is... This is one of the best. I remember telling Tom that when I have this, I'll be putting it under one of my baseball caps. And I'm going to do it right after recording this video for sure. Followed by one of the older designs, but it never goes out of style. It is the black and white Unquiet Hands logo. Pretty awesome. And then we have a very, very nicely made Unquiet... Oh, wait, there's a bearing inside here that was wrapped up. Ooh, what bearing is this? I'll have to put the model name of this bearing on screen, but it is one of the Unquiet Hands bearings because yes, you guys, in case you don't know, Unquiet Hands actually offers bearings now and uh, take my word for it the Jupiter bearing is possibly the quietest and the smoothest bearing that you will ever experience but my personal favorite is the Nibiru bearing because it offers a pretty long spin time but it really gives you that wonderful feedback and I like that a lot so I'll be putting the bearing here and we have this cleaning cloth with a very nicely embossed I don't know if this is called embossed but it's a nicely uh, placed Unquiet Hands logo here in the corner, black on black. Some exquisite goodness there. Very, very classy. And last but not least, we have here the Panda Pouch. Wait, let's just double check if there's anything left in the box. Looks like, nope, just some bubble wrap and this foam layer lining. Very, very, very well packed, I must say. See, what did I tell you guys about the unboxing experience? Possibly the best in a spinner game. It's just so well laid out and the way you experience it layer by layer ends up presenting you with the spinner itself in this very, very nice felt panda pouch. I'm gonna remove the spinner from the panda pouch and it looks to be wrapped up, but oh, there we go. That is the sage. Wow, it looks so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna take the sage out of this little plastic wrapper. Okay, I'm gonna change the aperture settings a little bit because the whites are kind of overexposed right now. So let's see, this looks a bit better. All right, that looks to be good. There we go. Wow. Oh, just wow. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna first give you guys a size comparison. So I have the stubby. There we go. It is about the same height as a stubby. Almost, I think. No, just slightly, just slightly shorter than a stubby. But in terms of the width, it is definitely way more narrow than a stubby. Uh, in fact, if you look carefully, it looks as if like the buttons are 
wider than the widest part of the weights right so that's a good size comparison for you guys right yeah so this thing is actually pretty small and look at those buttons that's a new button design these are the sage buttons and uh they uh wow what is this texture this is this is something else so it's got a slight dish on the outside here and then it's i want to say it's another dish but it's more like a, just a slope inwards and then finally a flat area in the center and this just feels so special wow i can't really describe this feeling to you guys my goodness unquiet hands you guys have done it again what is this texture this is cool okay and i love the fact that the buttons are finished the same way as the spinner body is it is just it matches so well so i'm gonna pop the buttons off and show you guys that this thing is a r188 spinner with a press fit slash slip fit retention system oh it looks to like be a hybrid ceramic bearing that's pretty awesome and the buttons are dedicated male and female buttons which is always a good thing now scrutinizing the finish now this is where i'm gonna okay i don't want to deviate too much but just look at this guys this is the fine stone washed finished version of the sage right but look at the inside area do you see how shiny it is especially in this corner over here look at that right there is a very obvious shiny corner and that is because i explained to you guys there is no way there is absolutely no way to cover everything perfectly when you're stone washing something so whoever made noise and brought that up about the pressure bar or the pressure try i should say really dude you don't even understand stone washing so please you know it can really affect the reputation of makers if you just make random claims like that you know it's it's yeah it's just ugly anyway back to the stage i'm gonna pop the buttons back on and give this guy a very first spin and before i even do that i'm gonna tell you guys that i'm gonna enjoy this because it already feels so good it's so rounded okay so anyway here we go what this is so smooth it is so smooth oh this is vegetable too this is crazy Oh my goodness, my hair standing. Okay, the reason why I'm so surprised, even though it's like seemingly just a standard bar design, is because here on the sides, it's tapering outwards. I mean, I saw it in pictures, but I didn't know what to expect. But on top of that, one thing that I did not notice because it's all renders and pictures so far, is that this part here, the waist here actually has a bump coming out. So even if, say for example, you use slightly narrow buttons it's still gonna get this bump out here and that is just interesting because you know generally you get a lot of spinners with that dip inwards or that little hip or waist but this one has a bump coming outwards but it actually goes in first so it's like the bump here and then it tapers up and then it tapers down again so this is some crazy nuance man tom i i i'm really pleasantly surprised about that i did not expect that to be present here on this sage but this is good man this is really really good the buttons they do offer pretty good grip i mean they're not like grippy grippy because you could see that they are kind of smooth but that dishing here and that texture is just it's something else wow unquiet hands is really pushing it in terms of the design of spinners like not just a spinner itself but the buttons as well wait look at that look at the side profile of the buttons as well guys you see that it is not just curved it's like chamfered and curved at the same time like what that's new and then in here there's a chamfer as well so much detail in the button this is crazy it sits so well it looks so good okay so at this point of time i'm going to give you guys a little bit of specs about this spinner and the other materials that is being offered okay so this is the stainless steel version and by the way i'm getting all this information from the unquiet hands website so links in the description box down below if you want to go check it out okay the weight of a stainless steel sage is 70 grams and of course all the sizes between all the materials are going to be the same so this is about 46 millimeters in total height or total length if you want to call it length this is actually going for 70 us dollars and the next material being offered is titanium and titanium is actually weighing in at 41 grams and is going for 90 us dollars the size and dimensions of course are the same and last but not least of course unquiet hands will have this in an exotic metal offering and that is in the form of zirconium so the zirconium one is going to be weighing in at about 60 grams and it's going to cost you anything between 170 to 180 us dollars yes you pay a lot for zirconium but the reason why there's a discrepancy between the price is because of the finish that you're going to be choosing. Now that I'm talking about the finish, yes, these are actually available in various finishes. We have, for example, polished finish, 
sand blasted finish, stone wash finish, fine stone wash finish, polish stone wash finish if I'm not wrong. That's what it's it's called, I think. And well, a few more. But for the zirconium ones, there are also flamed versions. That's why you're gonna get a very beautiful black zirconium finish because of the flaming. And that is the specs that I have so far. But guys, this is my first impressions. Like I mentioned, uh, I really wanted to share the unboxing experience with you guys. And this this is right now very very impressive. I'm nothing short of impressed, and of course nothing short of surprised and proud of everything that Unquiet Hands has done so far and I also want to thank you for sending this one over to me even though you did not have to because I know you had a successful first drop. So yes guys, this is already on sale. Check out the links in the description box down below if you want to grab yourself one of these sages and you guys know when it comes to Unquiet Hands, quality 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 really really well thought out designs really well done well made well finished and to top it off tom is one of the nicest people around you guys already know that you don't need me to tell you that and i suppose the next step is for me to put this on my edc you know rightfully so for at least a week and when i'm done i'll be coming back and sharing with you guys my sage experience and if you guys like the content that i'm putting out i hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel and if you do make sure you hit that notification button and the bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video and if you want to support the channel beyond that i run a patreon page i put a link up here in case you're interested and that's about it everyone thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout this slice of my life and going through the unboxing experience with me i will have to update you guys about how these herbal chews taste like and i hope that you found this video informative and maybe maybe i provided enough information to help you decide whether or not the sage spinner is a spinner for you even without my final verdict because the first impressions are just super super awesome on this and of course once again a huge shout out to tom over at unquiet hands thank you always for the support and sending the good stuff to me all the time man you are awesome and i'll catch all of you in the next slice of my life until then everyone gaga I will have to find out what a low quad is, but it is really really herbal and quite minty. Slightly sweet, not bitter. I like it. Thanks Tom.